have we all forgotten where this country was? Was it sort of three months ago as the government appeared to be collapsing? Maybe four months ago. Has all been forgotten? Has all been forgiven? Uh, well, I think uh, there are elements of the Conservative Party who have taken leave of their senses if they think that Boris Johnson is the answer to to their problems. Um, I mean, it, you know, however unfair they may think it was to have got rid of Boris Johnson, he was got rid of uh, for good reasons by uh, by the Parliamentary Party. Uh, so to 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 now having having imposed one candidate that the MPs didn't want. Uh, on them uh, to impose a second candidate uh, on them uh, who the MPs don't want, uh, because I'm sure a majority. I'm sure Boris Johnson uh, wouldn't actually command a majority in that indicative vote that you were talking about just there. Uh, I think would be uh, would be a sign that the Conservatives uh, have have just given up and are not serious about uh, winning the next election. One of the fascinating points about the nomination process, nominations close, of course, on 2 p.m. on Monday, is that of those hundred names that must be attached to the nomination form of each potential candidate, only two of them need to be public, the proposer and the seconder. Ninety-eight of them can be entirely private. Might that help Boris yeah. Johnson? Well, it might. Uh, it's obviously an attempt to try and reduce the temperature uh, and the divisiveness of this uh, of this election, because, I mean, the problem is that uh, all MPs are now identified as supporting uh, one candidate or another. But, I mean, most MPs went public with their with their views uh, about uh, Rishi Sunak and, and Liz Truss. So we know we we know broadly where people people stand. Uh, I mean, the, the problem, the, the only thing. I would say about that is it gives it gives Guido Fawkes, who's compiling the list of nominations, the excuse to include anonymous supporters of Boris Johnson uh, in in the list, which makes Boris Johnson appear to be ahead of Rishi Sunak. But if you if you strip those out and just go for the public supporters, Rishi Sunak's um, well ahead.